What's up everybody? Today we are going to be going over our mousetrap car. If you haven't watched the last video, the first one, then uh, I suggest that one first. I go over on how all the steps were that I made this mousetrap car and it kind of gives the insight of how a mousetrap car works and gets you to where we are now. Uh, this one as is, it went 10 meters, which is about 33 feet, in 8.6 seconds. So not too bad for a basic mousetrap car. 10 meters in 8.6 seconds. Uh, and then it kept coasting and it coasted about another 10 meters um, before it kind of stopped. So it went about 60 feet total, real basic mousetrap car, um, super simple spring, string, CDs, duct tape, hot glue, nothing fancy. Uh, so let's get started here. All right, so the first thing to make your mousetrap car go faster is weight reduction. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take this weight, and so I'm gonna turn on my scale here, and I'm just gonna check. You know, you don't have to check your weight to measure your weight, but for this purpose in this video, we're gonna do a little calculation here. That's where it goes. So I've got my scale on here, and I can't put this, the car on it because the car is too tall. So I'm gonna be taking this here, and I'm gonna tear the scale so it's at zeroed out, and this is in grams. So I'm gonna put this on here, and we are at 186 grams. All right, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be cutting out all this unnecessary weight in the structure, a lot of plywood. We're gonna start off with that. So here we are, post weight reduction. What we did is I just measured some of these dimensions here, what I had, put some stuff into the laser cutter. Now I know you don't have a laser cutter at home, most likely. Otherwise, you probably wouldn't be building a mousetrap car this simple. Uh, but we used it here because it's an easy, efficient way to blast out the shapes just for the process of weight reduction. So what I did is kind of the basic structure is the frame, a little bit back here. I left it blocked in underneath for the trap and then left a little bit of support right here. So let's see here. We are at... 147 grams. So 100, 148 grams is where we're at right now. So we had 168 and now we're at one or 186, sorry. Now we're at 148. That's a total of 38 grams left that we've reduced. So not too bad. So we had a total weight reduction of 38 grams. Uh, 38 divided by 186 is just about 0 0.205, which is 20% weight reduction by cutting this out. So we're going to see how that correlates to our time. So I just ran this mousetrap car and we went 7.92 seconds for 10 meters compared to our first of 8.86. Um, I, I earlier said 8.68, I accidentally had those numbers switched around there. So it was actually 8.86 down to 7.92. So we had a total of a 10.7% reduction in time by just hollowing these sections out. I didn't change anything else on the mousetrap car. Um, just hollowed out this, lost about 38 grams, 20% weight reduction, 10% reduction in speed. Um, there's still other forces uh, playing here for weight that we could reduce. Um, we could reduce the weight of the wheels. So we've got the, the CDs. Um, we could probably hollow these out a little bit to turn them more into bicycle spoke styles. Now, I can't do that because these are glued on here already. This car, being that it's just held together with hot glue, is not modular. I cannot take it apart and make modifications very easily. So what I actually will have to do is try to build another mousetrap car with hollow wheels 
and then try and go from there. So in my next one, I'm gonna try and build a lightweight one where I hollow out the CDs. I'm gonna take my wheelbase and I'm gonna shorten it up just a little bit and I'm gonna try and reduce the weight even more in here while still using the same mousetrap. All right, so I'm not gonna change the lever arm yet. All right, and I'm still gonna use the same wheel size um, CDs. All right, so that's a little bit on weight reduction and time reduction, and we'll see you next time.